So, how you doing? Sugamonger. This is a copy of a Microtech Combat Troodon. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive copy, and I've been seeing with quite a few of them pop up online. There's a lot of different retailers that are selling these, so I just wanted to uh, do a disassembly video, show you the inside of this thing if you are going to be interested in purchasing one. Uh, just you know, overall action, show you the action before disassembly here. It is a Torx head T8 construction, so let me pull all these screws out and get back to you. Yeah, I had this theory, uh, you know, I was trying to, I'm just thinking about why OTFs are so much fun. And it was, I was thinking about, oh, it's because, you know, you don't quite really understand how it works. But that's not true, because the mechanism in here, right, is actually, how these things work is relatively simple. You know what I mean? There's not... Uh, actually a whole lot going on but in it just seems like it's just see i messed up gotta put this whole thing back together yeah there we go but I mean, th th there's not really, excuse me, yeah, there's not really a whole lot going on inside this mechanism here, but it's just, there's, I, I still don't know what it is. There's something so fun about it. You can see here, this is a, it's a decent piece of steel here. The actual little, little, I'm not quite sure what these things are called, but it's a good spring. It's a good sturdy spring. You can see there, it's not bent. It's not uh, uncompressed when it's actually out of here. So it's definitely a good spring few pound tension you know what I mean it's definitely under tension it's got a lar larger side and a smaller side if you can see that there uh, the larger side is to accommodate for the actual blade itself so it doesn't rub up against the blade I'll show you that when I reassemble it you can see this piece here has been uh, milled out it's not uh, you know it's not the best job out there just because I mean how many of these were made you can, it, it is just a stamped out piece, but it has a, there's a, some machining. I mean, there's a lot of work that's actually gone into this thing. There's some decent finishing work, and it is very smooth. This thing has got an excellent polish on it. It's very smooth, very little resistance. You can see that track there that's been cut out for the spring. So uh, the reason I'm talking about the quality so much on this thing, I'm focusing so much on that, is the fact that it's, I mean, I paid $40 for this thing, and it's a ripoff of a Microtech. You know, so it... Uh, it is still, for being a ripoff, it's still good quality. You can see that peen construction there with that. So that, that's permanently attached. You know I mean, you're never going to be able to, that thing really isn't going to come off of there. So that's a good connection for that stop stopping point right there. The way this actually works is the front section here, um, when it's actually on, you, mean, you can imagine it's on the body and the knife is moving in and out like this. And this section here, this little nub on the actual end of the blade is what contacts this raised section here. You can see the little bit of deformation right there from the actual deployment that is from deploying the knife that's this locking lug slamming up against it. so that's what actually gives you your stop and then it retracts back down under spring tension you can see the inside here these little locking plates this is actually what gives you your locking engagement and this is really the whole mechanism right here as far as stability any sort of resistance upon penetration is in this little area it's relying on this piece of aluminum here and that little locking piece and it is steel it's not you know, i mean it's not if you look at uh the pictures you know if you look at the inside of something like a microtech it's it's they're much more finished and it's a much larger piece of steel but this it's not a piece of aluminum you know what i mean it is a <clears throat> pretty stout piece of steel it's got a little spring in there behind it actually give me one second pull this little thing out give you guys an actual look uh behind that little tab because I was impressed when I saw this little mechanism here the spring is very small uh, very weak spring but you can see the plate has been recessed right and it's milled out you'll also notice that it's not a square right and that is in, uh, that's intentional uh, so that is the the amount of precision um that's actually in this thing that's you know the the fact that this isn't a little square chunk it has to sit like this to that's directional so there is a decent amount of precision that is in this little thing you know what i mean and i think that's the reason that even these little knockoff models i got to figure out which way this goes in like that 
even these little not even you know they're relatively expensive i mean and you're getting what you pay for even on the lines of this thing doesn't have the highest quality parts it's not you know it's not going to be set up the same as a $240 Microtech, but it shows you why a $240 Ultratech, whatever it is, $300, four or $500, it shows you why they are that expensive. Because you can imagine building something to the co tolerances and quality that, you know, so the companies do. Um, I keep saying Microtech, but I mean, there's so many of them out there. You know, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't even, yeah, I got like Paragon and... Protech and there's a whole lot of P's and tech and all that crap <laughs> but I mean there's so many different companies out there that are really expensive manufacturing these and that's really the reason why is there's so much intricacy and there's so much detail so if you're going to get very precise if you're going to get very intricate in this mechan in this actual mechanism itself that's a lot of work there's a lot of parts there's a lot of things moving in here the sim the action is very simple it's not a whole lot going on as far as actual functionality you know what is going on when it does function but it's there's a lot of parts there's a lot of complicated things going on to make it actually function correctly you can see that little screw there one thing I'm gonna do is Loctite actually all of these holes because I forgot to do that before I put it on so I'm gonna lock tight them and come back actually show you guys this uh, how I prefer to lock tight um, I don't apply it to the actual screw what I do is I fill the hole you can see that there I've just filled you know put a little tiny dab on the hole and then it bubbles up so I've got this is actually a uh, torsion bar from a Kershaw I don't know what it came out of, but you can see I just used that, plug down in the hole, then pop the little bubble, wipe off the access. And so I've got the the actual Loctite is on the interior threads of all of the little holes now. And that way I don't have to worry about it getting around. It stays where I want it. It stays put. So put these screws back in. We'll come back. Yep. Got all the screws back in. This thing runs great on Blue Lube, uh, Benchmade Blue Lube. It's a dry lube, which just really functions excellent in OTS, I think. It's good stuff. Yeah, actually, let's do this one now. I've never taken the uh, this off. The torsion bar from a Kershaw is a great little tool, man. I use that thing for everything. That's some decent milling on the hole there. You can see the finish work. Alright. That's not too bad. This is steel. That's definitely made out of steel. It's heavy. And uh, the advertised weight... The advertised weight for this model is, well, no, excuse me, I don't know the advertised weight, but the actual weight is 5.1 ounces, and the advertised weight for an actual Truidon is 5.7 ounces, so it that does suggest to me that it probably is aluminum. I do imagine that these are aluminum scales. They feel like it. The button is definitely aluminum. That back plate is. This is steel, decent pocket clip. I might figure out something to do with this, but it feels a lot better in hand without it. I like this. That's it. Y'all have a good one.